Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my husband once again. We are going to do a chit chat questionnaire kind of table topics thing. We were doing this for a moment. So today is going to be another session of that. And while I'm doing this with my husband, I'm going to be doing my makeup as well. So he'll be asking the questions. I'm and... working. You're asking the questions. Well, I'll ask you the questions too. But okay. in case I'm like busy, like with an eyeliner or something, then uh, then you can ask the questions and answer them or something like that. Okay. Okey All right. So today. We are going to do a different app. I just downloaded this app. It's called Get Jabin. If you guys are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe button right there. And you don't know what this exercise is. It's basically like a table topics and it's kind of like trying to help you express yourself and be open to other people and make conversations as well and just really be comfortable in your own skin when you're around people who you're not comfortable around. <laughs> like brand new people like you just meet or if you go to an event parties or clubs whatever it just kind of sparks conversation and helps you develop a social skill so yeah that's what we're doing okay the app is called get jabbing this exercise you're supposed to like answer questions in about a minute non-stop but that's just too much pressure this is just something we do for fun and to explore our brains each other's brains and we can talk as long as we want it's just basically to conversate with your significant other or friend etc all right so first question for you is what job would you be terrible doing it's any job i'm not interested in and right now i'd probably be a pretty bad personal trainer oh, i'm yeah. like on a diet and this diet sucks because what do you mean you lost like five yes, six but pounds then that means I, I have to watch what i eat usually i don't watch what i eat and so that's a pain so i i, can, I guess a nutritionist i'd be a terrible nutritionist and personal trainer i think you'd be a good nutritionist it's just that you don't have the willpower you have the knowledge you can tell oh okay people I'll, what's good what's right. not I, to eat your I'm fat okay telling people content what to do. i can tell you what to do yeah but you do it yourself <laughs> You're kind of like, oh, well, that's hard to, you know what I mean? Eat veggies and yeah. be chomping on a burger. Okay. Don't do what I do. Okay, so anything else. Well, I'm at least you have on. me here to kind of like keep you in check with your food and giving you the dirty eye if he decides to sneak in a Cheeto or something. You're the reason why I eat unhealthy foods. I'm too lazy to go out and get food. You're the one who brings them here or brings me out there. No. So. We eat okay food. The only problem with Brian is he stuffs himself, overstuffs. When I go out to eat, I just kind of taste food here and there and he just eats the whole thing. Mm. Like you can take it to go, slowly portion yourself out, but he actually eats the whole thing. And even though he knows he's stuffed, he just continues to eat. Did your parents say finish your food? Oh my I always God. do that. I wonder if it's because of that. He's like that Dalmatian, the chubby one that goes, but mama, I'm hungry, but he's already like chubby. Okay, your turn. What once in a lifetime thing have you witnessed? <laughs> I guess this marriage, and I intend to just be in this marriage once. You mean your own marriage? Yeah, my own, own marriage, marriage what I witnessed, what I got myself into, what I committed to, basically. That's a once in a lifetime thing that I want to keep forever. Good answer. Yeah. Does okay. that apply to me? Is this your marriage? <laughs> well, if you're married to me, there's only one marriage. No, you could have one marriage. Are you trying to say you're going to get <laughs> no. another marriage? I'm saying if we get divorced. Why would we get divorced? I'm just saying if. So there really. Okay, there's an if? Anyway, there's no if. Then why did you bring up the conversation? I'm just if. saying you should have made it clear. What do you mean? Did they make it clear? The marriage for me and you, not just for you. Oh. What makes you excited? Other than you, winning contracts. We won one yesterday. Got me really <laughs> excited. Because you, you put in all that hard work, preparation, you're writing lots of documents, I mean, lots of pages. Like right now, our current bid due Monday is like 200 pages of stuff. Put in a lot of effort and it's nice to see you win. Mm -hmm. I mean, the losses are okay too because you learn from them, but the wins feel a lot better. Yeah. I've been excited about that these days. Days and nights of working on your craft and then finally you get um, rewarded. Yeah. It so, feels nice. And these large contracts, they take like months too, right? You put it in and then it takes months for the city to approve it and all that. Excited these days. What's the best advice your parents ever gave you? Can we skip to the next question? No. I don't know. I don't think my parents ever given me advice. Oh my gosh. I'm sure they have stated something. I can say the worst advice. <laughs> We're not saying worst. <laughs> my parents always no. tend to like... Best advice. Stop say, saying it. Oh, 
just go with the flow, man. Hide everything. Don't fight back. Like when I was working at Paris Banair Asia, all the things that I was frustrated with, my parents were just like, no, just listen to them. Just do whatever they say. Just don't fight them because you're you're not gonna you're not gonna win and you're not gonna get what you want and you're just gonna just stick to being kicked off the company or something. And I'm like, you know, if I don't feel good doing it, then I shouldn't do it. And they're like, no, 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 don't do that. So that's the advice they would give me. Hmm. I Except don't know. We're asking for the best advice. I think that is the best advice because the more they say it, the more I go the opposite. You oh. know what I mean? So <laughs> it's kind of like when Brian says to me, don't eat chocolate. And I'm like, well, I'm going to have chocolate. You know? <laughs> I just like to go the opposite of what people say just to prove them that I can. But of course, depending on scenarios, because if it's like a bad thing, then I wouldn't do it. But if it's like something I really feel in my gut feeling that is, is right, then I'll do it. So that's the best advice. You can take a bad and turn it into a good. So thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> okay. What isn't a big deal as you might think? A lot of things that have been happening in the past few weeks. I think it's not that big of a deal, but she thinks it's a huge deal. Brian doesn't think anything is a huge deal anyway, so that's why I don't trust his judgment. But is that the question? What isn't a big deal as you might think? Mm -hmm. But then that, that doesn't make sense because if I think it's a big deal, then I can't say it's not a big deal. That's a dumb question. Everything is a big deal, <laughs> okay? Just deal with that. No, I mean, I have answers, but all of them are what I think is a big deal. But then it's saying it really isn't. It's like, then I wouldn't think it's a big deal. Dumb question. What makes you unique? I think I'm very um, outspoken. Sometimes I have a hard time holding my tongue. But at the same time, just being honest and letting people around me know what I feel and such like that makes me unique because then they can trust me more in a sense. I don't know how to make, I don't know how to I think it. it's that you're honest, mm -hmm. so you wear your emotions on your sleeve. So whether you're wrong or right, at least you think it's the truth, yeah, like, so people trust even you. Even when I know I'm going to get in trouble for saying the truth, I, I would just say it. And that's, yeah. I feel like it affected me within my career and everything like that, but I couldn't lie and so say So you're trusting? It. Yeah. Like for I'm example, honest. one time we were shooting in Asia and it was Trisha's number and she was like performing and everyone was watching and at the time, you know, Trisha's like huge star and still is except she's not doing as much but she was performing and everyone was like whoa she's so amazing she's so amazing and then she would come down after her performance and ask everybody how did she do everyone's like you were great you were totally everything was on point you look great and then everyone left and then she turned to me and she asked me min can you tell me the truth because i know you will and i was like oh. I will tell you the truth. Right at this point, you messed up. Your arm went up this way and this one went that way. And she knew in her gut feeling that she did that too. So she knows that those were the areas that she messed up on. So she felt like more comfortable when I gave her her, what do you call it? It's a constructive feedback. Yeah, so an honest feedback. And it helped her improve for the next show because we have two shootings a day. So she would focus in those dance moves and then better herself for the next performance. So I think being honest... And some people might not, might not like it, but it depends on who you are and how you take it and how you grow from it. My big mouth gets me in trouble, but I guess you can trust me with the honesty. <laughs> what makes you think a person is boring? If they're too careful, like with the words they say, because it's actually opposite of what you were just saying. Because they don't want to say the wrong things all the time and, mm -hmm. it, and it always is so safe mm -hmm. that it's hard to gauge their real opinion. So that's boring because it's like, it doesn't really matter if you're wrong. We just want to know what you think. Mm -hmm. And so if you're just always going with the status quo, trying to like balance between both sides and you're like, mm, you're boring. Or like, let's say for example, if you say something and then you stay safe and you don't be honest and then you tell someone that you're close, your yeah. honest opinion, and then that person go tells another person, <laughs> like it goes into a huge loop, you'd get in trouble. People would be like, oh my God, this person is like shit talking. You know what I mean? It get yourself in trouble, so. Or you're in a setting and then that person says their opinion mm -hmm. and then someone else says something else is like, oh yeah, 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 and they change their opinion, they change. Like, dude, you don't have an opinion for yourself. Yeah. You're boring. <laughs> So yeah, not having your own opinion. So have your own brain, have your own mind and thoughts. Don't follow the hive mind. What was the worst grade you've ever received and what was the subject? I would say... Um, physics. Physics. <laughs> physics, I didn't get it. And my teacher, I swear, I swear to you, he looks like that character from... Um, that movie. The movie where the guy is bald and he sits on a 
thumb tap, and he's like, "That kid did it." You is guys that see the that? Cartoon? Yeah, it's a cartoon. What oh, movie is that? Um, with the superheroes. Yeah. With the fast guy, the family. Yeah, and he's like, "You guys see that?" The he just put the superheroes. Yeah, the thumb tap on my chair. What is that family? I'm gonna Google it. So this is your professor. My professor looks exactly like that. I swear, I swear, he looks just like that. And so, <laughs> this movie came out a year after I graduated, but it just dawned on me, like, just looking at him all day and not really quite understanding what he's teaching. And he was very slow at the same time, so it was really hard for me to engage. I'm more of a person who can learn better if you put it in a song or if you, like, have colorings or, like, pictures or something. But he just was lecturing. I do not do well in lectures. Like, if you draw or paint a picture, yes. But if you're going to sit there and talk to me about the whole image, then no. Especially for physics, there were no shapes. There were no sizes. There were no things to that's see. That's shapes. Well, he didn't draw any, so that's why I, I got D a D minus. D minus, yeah. But I still graduated high school, okay? <laughs> That wasn't even a required class. I know, but just gotta take something just to take, right? Your question, which movie was a lot better than you expected? Uh, the Dragon, the first version. The Dragon? Yeah, the Dragon cartoon. My best friend Dragon. Uh, what do you call that? How to Train yeah. a Dragon? How to Train a Dragon, yeah. Oh, okay. I I've never like that watched that movie. Yeah, for some reason I enjoyed it. Why did you like that movie? I don't know, I just watched it, and I remember, wow, that's a pretty good movie. I don't even remember the plot, but I remember actually liking it. I mean, I remember the training, the kid going through all that, same old stuff, but I didn't expect to like it because it was just a kid movie, and then, surprisingly, I enjoyed it. What do you it. mean, because it's a kid's movie? Your favorite movie is a goofy movie. When I was a kid. And still. still <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, it's one of those, okay, like a little kitty cartoon you just watch, and then it's like, I enjoyed it. Good job. Well, we will watch it because I've never seen it. What's a recent movie that you liked? I usually don't really care for Tyler Perry stuff, but I liked the movie Acrimony. The one where the girl went crazy because he cheated on her and then oh, yeah, she that spent was years and years of like investing in his career and he didn't do anything yeah. with it until last minute. Yeah, she was he... totally at fault. <laughs> okay. She was. We do not want to get into that. Oh my gosh. You went crazy. Yes, um, that was a good movie. It... You know what's a surprisingly... Bad. What? Recently was Game of Thrones. I didn't have much expectations, so it was like... For episode one, I had a lot of expectations, and those expectations were not met. It was because of all the hype. If there was no hype, and none of this waiting forever... Well, they need the hype so that they can promote it. How would you know if uh, they didn't hype it? What are two things that people should never put together? You put food together all the time. Yes, but there's certain ones you can't. Spaghetti and ice cream. No, it's... Spaghetti and spring rolls. Squid and red wine. <laughs> Okay. Terrible. Brings out this nasty fishiness. What song makes you happy every time you hear it? Your songs. My favorite song with my husband. We have a song together. It's called Someone to Love. Brings back good memories. And every time I hear it, I always think to myself, this is why I decided to marry this guy. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone to Love by Babyface. That mm -hmm. makes me happy. And my songs too, okay? <laughs> I put like a lot that? of work into my songs, so I'm going to appreciate and love it, okay? <laughs> Why do you like that song, Someone to Love? Because it just makes me feel nostalgic when we were together, and uh, that's when I uh, lost my flower. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, <laughs> when I decided to be with Brian in that moment in time, I thought to myself, all these scenarios and if I'm going to be with this person for the rest of my life. So it was more like a marriage to me, more so than the actual marriage. Like if I was going to do it with this guy and it felt right in this moment in time, then this is it. This is the guy. So um, luckily it turned out to be the guy and nothing went wrong and I ended up marrying him. But yeah, after... Maybe two years of dating, I decided, mm -hmm. okay, this is the guy, and this, this song was the one was that was playing. So it brings back really good memories and gives me a reminder that he and I are in this marriage and the journeys that we've been together just to get here and still standing and surviving. For me, what is better to be done alone than with other people? Playing solitaire. Does it mean be quiet? <laughs> no, the game solitaire. Oh. <laughs> I was okay, going to say, you can tell me be thing, quiet, um, I will cut you. Probably pooping. Man likes to barge in and have a long conversation while I'm pooping. I get really, alone. <laughs> really upset when he locks the door. Like, I have a no lock door policy in this household. I just want to talk to him. And then sometimes I just want to see what he's doing in there. Like, that's my time of meditation. <laughs> 
I have a really bad habit of wanting to see it too because I just want to see what, what's inside his body this whole time. So he you, really feels You can see the babies un- all day. Comfortable. Yeah, if For like some. people, okay, my sisters always send pictures of her kids blow out. But when I send a photo of like a long uncut snake, they get offended, <laughs> but not a blowout. Anyway, next question. What's something that everyone does but you don't? Wear makeup in public. Uh, yeah, I guess that could be something. I mean, I used to wear a lot of makeup back in the day when I was uh, in high school. But now, like, maybe within the past, ever since I graduated high school, I was just, like, tired of wearing makeup. And a lot of times, I would go in public and with my friends or my singer friends, and I would be, like, no makeup. They would freak out for me because they'll think that, oh, what if someone's talking shit about you? Or, like, what, what if they think that you don't look as good like you do on TV? And I'm just, like... I don't care. Like, I'll just vlog without my face and I'll be just fine. A lot of people really don't feel comfortable doing that. And I I can see that because when I vlog, a lot of times people would cover their face or like they would get their face on because they know I'm around. So they they see this girl vlogging. So they're like, okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now you can vlog. (laughs) I wouldn't say everybody because some people go without makeup, but majority Mm. of people do, but I don't. Thank you for answering my question. Have you been arrested? If so, what for? No. I've never been arrested. What makes you instantly respect a person? When a person has integrity and dignity. But it says instantly. You're not going to know that instantly. Okay, for example, if you meet a person, of course you're not going to know them right away, but you can feel them out and see how they are. Like if you're having a conversation, Mm -hmm. you can really feel out what their intents are. And so you can know a little bit of their personality. And I kind of have a sense of people because I've been around a lot throughout the years around the whole world. So I kind of get an idea of people's personalities, how they're going to go about. So I feel like I can gauge that information within like five to ten minutes of meeting you. Just your gesture, your actions, your body language, everything. You can tell by a person and what they intend to do. What's something all men should know about women? You've been with me for like, what, almost 20 years? They don't always mean what they say. Sometimes they yap, they say, no, 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 they really don't mean that. But sometimes when you complain and you say, I hate you, all that stuff, like, mm, sure, heard that before. So like if a girl's mad at you? Yeah, so she says mean things. So there's no reason to kind of <laughs> add to that mm-hmm. and respond because you're just making things worse. Do you think that you've learned from experience? Yes. I'm just like, mm, her craziness taking over, so I'm just gonna cool off. <laughs> so basically keep your mouth shut. What site do you visit when you get bored? I go to Instagram a lot. I like to see baby stuff lately because I'm pregnant. So I like to see other people's bellies and how big they are and how they're giving birth. What are they buying? What strollers? What car seat? What bottles do I need to have for my baby since I'm not breastfeeding? So I need to know what bottles, what formulas. A lot of times when you click on something on Instagram, they think you like it. So they attach that to your... um, If everyone had a word bubble above their head, what would be written on yours? A word bubble like... Lately, it's been scuba. How things apply to them, like safety. I'm looking at our corners of our table, checking out the strollers. No, you're not allowed to buy any strollers. You know, so you start paying attention to those things. (laughs) But what's in the word bubble? Scuba. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. What do most people overthink? I think most people overthink the outcome of things. Like when they do something, they kind of like see what is going to happen. What the other person is going to do, if they're going to get the job or not. They just think of the worst that could happen, the worst scenario. And they always think, oh, I should do this to avoid from it happening. Not just letting everything happen. And if it does happen, then you just deal with it. I think people overthink the outcome of things too much. Overthinking the future. Okay. What is something you enjoy that everyone else seems to dislike? I like working. That's an easy one. A lot of people complain, oh, nine to five. I want to be home by five. Uh-huh. Thank God it's Friday. Oh, suck, it's Monday. Like, every day is the same to me. I enjoy what I do, so that's why it's kind of not a big deal. I hope other people will feel the same way eventually. Because then it becomes less like work. So like us, we're working on Easter Sunday, but it's not really working, right? Mm-hmm. So I think that's fortunate for me. I don't mind doing this. Right now, I'm down to 15 pages for this proposal. And it's work, but it's not too bad. Speaking of working on Easter Sunday, 
um, we just found out that Sri Lanka had this big explosion at churches. So if you guys go out to church today or anywhere, just be careful. You never know what's gonna happen. This world is getting crazier and crazier. Or you think it's always been crazy, but we just have things to Honestly, document it's it now. Safer than before. Like if you're looking at percentage of people who die based off terrorism or any other things, I mm -hmm. think it's a lot less. I'm sure it is. I'm positive it's a lot less. So like deaths per capita by terrorism, by war, it's much less than before. Like, but still, it's pretty sad. Yeah, of course. Especially it's sad. on these events and stuff. Like you're just going out to do a good deed and all of a sudden something bad happens to you. Yeah, there's always shitty people out there. That's not gonna change for a while. What makes you afraid? Baby being hurt. I'm worried about that these days. A lot of anxiety with this whole pregnancy. Yeah, I know. Like from the beginning, are you gonna have miscarriage, miscarriage, miscarriage? And then once you get past the 12 weeks, you're still worried. Right now it's a little bigger than usual. And they're like, oh, is big okay? Is it? Is there something wrong? You know, like you never know because it's inside your body. So you're just kind yeah. of like guessing and even doctors will guess too. So that's what I'm worried about. These days. What extracurricular activities did you participate in when you were in high school? Ooh, okay. I was in tennis. Yeah, you're terrible at tennis. Yes. Still are. I was in badminton. Ooh, very bad. I was in cross country. How did you do in cross country? I think I did pretty well. You My attended teacher... one session and quit? Anywho, what else did I do? Extracurricular? Choir? Yeah. It that kind of is, okay. Definitely is. Yeah, that's probably your biggest one that you didn't mention. <laughs> I did choir only because my older sister forced me to audition. She was in choir. She just did it for fun and she was like, just do it because it's just an easy class. So I auditioned for sophomore, junior, and senior. Yeah. It was fun. I did like key club, I did Asian club. I did my own club where I was a teacher for the Vietnamese dancing group, the leader. That's about it. Mm. Okay. How about you? Probably nothing, huh? Yeah. Zero. Oh, yeah. actually, I, I tried. Remember when you went to badminton and I saw you once? Mm -hmm. I tried. I was like, okay, let's play badminton. And I signed for badminton and they wouldn't let me because I didn't have a C. <laughs> you didn't have a C? Yeah, you need a 2.0 or greater to join any of these activities. Oh, wow. Too bad. <laughs> okay. Too bad for them. What are your top three movies or TV shows that you've watched whenever it's on? Friends. <laughs> yes, we have binging been like friends binging on Friends time. forever. I could watch Friends like background music all day. Yeah, I think it's um, funny just to like in and out. Just yeah. to, It's a classic basically, so you can't go wrong with Friends. How about Sex in the City? Do you like that? Ugh, no, it's something you watch for a bit. <laughs> I like Family Man. Mm -hmm. I can play that background during Christmas, Nicolas Cage. He likes movies that are like kind of like what ifs. What if I went this way and what if I went that way? How would my life turn out to be? Oh yeah. What else? As far as sitcoms, I Love Lucy like way back in the days when I was younger. That was on all the time. Yeah, so I think Friends is like an I Love Lucy for our generation. Yeah. You know? We should watch I Love Lucy. I mean, I've seen like all of it. It's nice. You've seen all of it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen all of it. Really? Mm -hmm. I've just seen like episodes here and there. And the ones that I know is like the ones where she was like in the chocolate factory. How she likes to perform but she's terrible at singing. And stuff like that but i've never watched back-to-back -back episodes of i love lucy i have it's been background for us oh interesting when growing up when we had tv now we watch very little tv except recently you have friends playing in the background what type of person do you hate oh i'm very intolerable of people who lie and people who are cheap okay now tell me what people do you actually like other than me that's a tough one. I like people who are kind, who are genuine, does things without wanting to receive anything in return. Any names you want to throw out there? You just said not you, so why do I There's have There's no one else. You're just kind of like asking for it. No, I said not me. It like, like people who just really care about another human being, not mm. because of their benefit, you know what I mean? If people could just care about another human being that much more than the work field around you, the social aspect, humanity, the world would not be as crazy as it is right now. Everyone's just out there for themselves. That goes for like work, financial, personal, everything is just for themselves. If they would just lend a helping hand here and there, then I think that's what the world really needs. That's the type of people that I like and I rarely see it ever. So yeah, I like that. <laughs> just do something out of the kindness of your heart and try hard to not affect other people be appreciative i don't like people who are just full out take advantage of other people and just like me 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 all the time everything for me 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 mm -hmm. selfish people i hate cheap people i hate inconsiderate people i hate selfish people and i hate what do you call it liars 
I just hate liars. Okay, next. We don't want to get into that. It's just a burst of sunshine. Uh-huh. If you could wipe one band from the face of history, which would it be? That's your question. I don't know. I hate when people hate on bands, like artists. There's a lot of hate for like Nickelback was one that's kind of like a meme. I'm mean, like, why are you hating on them? Recently, Imagine Dragons, there's hate for them recently. Cardi B has a little bit of hate these days. I like her. What she does. But my point is, uh, not just because of their music, I, I wouldn't wipe them. But like assholes, I would like them to disappear. I would say Chris Brown is one of the ones top on the list. Like he keeps coming out. Like, oh, you mean like speaking. you mean like artists that are assholes? So I would not hate on them because they're a musician, but because because mm -hmm. they're just an asshole, and they do have a lot of influence. And when you act like an asshole, you influence all these younger People generation. To be, to like, be oh, like that's them. That's cool to be an asshole. That's cool to. Oh, be like it younger, creates you know? like all this hate and all. It this, makes like... it okay, even though people don't follow. It, mm -hmm. it it lowers the bar for others like it desensitized for everyone to yeah. be an asshole too because they think it's okay right right it's like oh yeah it's normal I'll beat on this girl uh i'll be okay look chris brown was, was okay as long as you're a rich star that kind of stuff right beating on a girl would be okay that's now. an example i'm sure there's people who've done worse than him but he comes top of mind because uh he's the influence because he does have a lot of influence. Would you consider him a band? No, uh, I kind of went from band to musician. I don't know that too many bands okay. that I like or hate. What band do you like or hate? There's like, not really like... I don't like Purity. <laughs> you guys aren't even a band. You guys we're a band, okay? Instruments. We were a band. You're like a group of anything. I don't know, I feel like every artist has their own thing and you can't knock on somebody who's trying hard. Even when they're like the worst singer ever, but they try so hard, you just really can't knock on them. Yeah. You only knock on people who are like entitled and things are like handed to them, which is a lot in the industry. But in terms of like, if they put out the work and they got there somehow, there's something that got them there and people like them for a certain reason. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I can't really say I would ban any bands. What do you love most? about life just don't mention me it has to be unique huh? just life itself the journey i was thinking yesterday literally just thinking yesterday when i was younger i was so focused on my career and trying to get here and there and trying to like take care of everyone that i kind of missed out on everything and i think that's the whole purpose of life to really experience life and do things as much as you can because you honestly when they say one life to live i don't believe in reincarnation or a second life i really think that this is your life like if you die this is it so if you're not going to take advantage of living it and like fulfilling your life being being happy in life, which is very important, then you're basically not living. You're just a robot. Last night I was telling him, I've been a robot for like the bulk of my adult life. So I just felt like now having this chill moment, especially forced to not doing much because I'm pregnant and just homebound, can't do anything. I feel like maybe this is life. Life is about creating life and experiencing mm. and sharing it with other people you love. What makes a party a great one? Party's really just people. It doesn't really matter where it's at, mm -hmm. whether it's the bar or a restaurant, club, at home. People just conversating. That's really fun. Like the company, right? Is that what yeah. you mean? Like just- I mean, alcohol helps only because they're uh, more open. Mm -hmm. So people can talk, but it's really uh, people. Sometimes you need someone like you to start the party, to get people out of their little shells. Okay. What is something that you used to be good at? I used to be good at managing things. Like if I were to get things done, I would like have a schedule, a plan, and I would hassle back people to the fullest to get what I want done right away. But nowadays, maybe I've given up on people and I'm just like, I don't get it done as quickly. Back in the day, during my purity days, I was like, we gotta get this done, we gotta get this song done, we gotta write some songs, we gotta get this outfit done, we gotta go do this, we gotta do that. And there was a schedule and I annoyed a lot of people, like a lot, I'd be like, what are you doing today? Are you doing anything? Are you gonna make my music? Are you gonna do this? You know, like I'm really on point on schedule. We have to get this done, we have to take our photo shoots, we have to do our makeup, we have to do our hair, we have to do everything. Like I was just on it. And now it's like, well, when are you gonna do your music, man? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't think anyone wants to listen to my music anymore. <laughs> Kind of deal. Yeah, I used to be good at managing things. I still can if I really like feel the need that it's totally necessary. But if not, then I just I just don't. What's something all women should know about men? That's a good one for you. You just answered one for women. So now answer one for men. I think that's something you should answer. No, let me see what you have first and then I'll answer. I really don't know. But oh, I'll think right. about it while you're answering it. Because you just answered it first. So now let's get it from a male perspective. What do we women need to know about men? We're simple beings. 
Very simple beans. It doesn't take much. So don't overcomplicate things. Pretty straightforward. I guess I can agree with that. I feel like men don't really analyze things and really dissect the situation like women do. Like women will think about the sentence or the wording and like what you said exactly word for word what it means and guys are just like that's not what I meant. You misunderstood mm -hmm. what I what I was thinking, but if you're going to think it that way, okay, I guess I could think it that way. But yeah, I guess they just don't think. Men don't think. What is something you like that is catered to the opposite gender? I would like to have a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like that's something that I could never have. And you always want what you can't have. And men always like, um, they're always so simple when it comes to sex. It's like they can experience an orgasm fast. It doesn't have to have any attachments to anything. Everything to them is sensitive in that area. And I'm like, I have my needs and it's like, why does it take a million years but you take like two seconds? Like, I wanna know what's it like to feel that explosion. That's what I want. Who would star as you in a movie? How fun. Other than the Asian Brad Pitt, there's a, uh, I don't know, a lot of actors. Probably, uh, what's that guy? Meet the Falkers guy? Something. Ben Stiller? Ben Stiller. I like him. You like Ben Stiller? I think he can star me. Oh, because you're more like a funny kind of character. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. So it's kind of like that. Okay, that's also one of your favorite movies. Not favorite, I like that movie. For example, yeah. out of all the guys and friends, who would you consider <laughs> you very likely to be close to? Joey? Joey? I'm just kidding. No, probably closer to Ross and Chandler. A blend of the two. Probably Chandler. You're like Chandler? Closer than Ross, yeah. Aww. I mean, I think it's a like nearly 50 mix. I guess, because, you know, Ross is more like nerdy, and then you're very like reserved. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, Chandler Ross is. is reserved too, but Chandler has his own issues. For me, I always thought Justin Bieber looks like Brian, but more polished. Um, uh, more polished? Um, Bieber. Bieber looks like Brian when he was younger. Like, let me show you a photo of when we were kids. There. Cover our faces. <laughs> he reminds me of Bieber. I don't know. <laughs> or just his aura. I don't know. Next question. What impresses you? What impresses me is when a guy really knows what a girl wants. That's why you're with me. <laughs> Next question. Which celebrity do you have a... Okay, do you? This app needs to check their grammar, okay? Which celebrity do you have a crush on? Probably on Min. Famous singer. <laughs> Besides me. I don't know. I'm not really a celebrity person. Who do you think? I think you like uh, Mila Kunis. You said she was smart. Yeah, I do, but it's not like I have a crush on her or I want to like date you kind of thing. I'm not really into that. Oh, women do. They hear one thing like, I'm into that. <laughs> like dude, it's just a statement. <laughs> okay. If you won a million dollars, what would be the first thing you bought? You buy. Yeah. They do have grammar issues here. I don't know. I think I would just like give it to you because I I really don't know what to do with money. Like, Good answer. A lot of times I feel like when I buy things, it's just stuff. But food makes me happy. I'd probably buy a really nice bottle of wine to celebrate that we won. But you can't drink. But I'd probably give it to Brian to deal with like investments or whatever he wants to do with his business. It's always been me just making money and then giving it away. <laughs> Okay. What noise irritates you, Brian? What noise? Tell me. Tell me your frustrations. <sighs> women nagging. Who are you yes, talking about? Other women. I don't know who. <laughs> Chalkboard sound irritates. Mm -hmm. I get bothered by that. You know what really annoys me? Beeping. The beeping of the smoke <laughs> detector. Smoke oh my god. Like Brian has this one employee that he has a meeting with for like about a month or two now. And every single second it's and I'm like, does this person not know that the smoke alarm has been going off for like that long? And apparently they're like, I've been living with that sound forever. And I'm like, oh my God, how do you live? I'd be like so frustrated. Yeah, what's Strange. the best compliment you've ever received? I'm a professional nagger. <laughs> <laughs> because I get shit done when I nag. Just being men. <laughs> All right, so my makeup is done. I am relieved because it took me a moment today. That's the last step. 
mainly because I'm trying to do this video and do my makeup at the same time so it's like trying to multitask. Right now I'm going to explain to you what I did with my face. So let's move this over here. Thank you for your time Brian. I can go back to work. First thing I did was prime my face with the Sisley Primer. This stuff is really nice to keep your face looking flawless when you put on your foundation. This is the La Prairie Foundation in the color Porcelain Blush. And then we're moving on to concealer where I did the T-zone area. The problem areas were pregnancy was giving me issues. Ooh, that's a baby being hungry. <laughs> Shape Tape by Tarte Cosmetics and in the color Light Neutral. And then we moved on to baking my face with the Beauty Blender and the La Prairie Translucent Powder. And speaking of Easter, I use an Easter egg to put my Beauty Blender in because sometimes I'll lose this and I can't really find an, a replacement. So these eggs, you just put it in and then you seal the deal that you have it, a Beauty Blender holder. For eyebrows, I use MAC Cosmetics Brun. From there, I did the Dior Styler. This is a brow styler in number two, dark brown, to give me like that hair strokes. A lot of people ask me why I don't microblade my eyebrows, and the reason is because I don't want to keep one shape all the time because shapes of eyebrows do come in and out of style. Some days I want thin eyebrows, some days I want thick eyebrows. Having no eyebrows, you have an advantage to change it up, change up your look. Thick, super thin. Back in the day when I was having like those super thin eyebrows yeah if i had tattooed my eyebrows back then it would not be cute then we're moving on to eyeshadow i use the naked heat palette and i use the color chaser and sauce for my eyeshadow the smokiness i did this color right here this is in the color ashes right here basically give me more of a bottom shadow blended smoky outlook and then for the inner corners of my eyes, you see the pink, I wanted to be festive. I use the Box of Crayon palette. This is the eyeshadow palette in the color pink right there. Mascara, I use the Big Bang Mascara by Benefit. I love this mascara. It makes my lashes look like seriously super, super long, like gorge. And then for lashes, I don't know the style, but um, I found it somewhere and it's just in a box like this, so. We don't have a style. You just like, bye. <laughs> Blush, I use I'm Not Blushing by MAC Cosmetics. This is from the Patrick Star line. It has like two colors so you can mesh it in. Pink and the other side is like kind of like a bronzer so it helps tone down after I baked my face. I bronze my face with the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. This is a really nice shade to match a lot of people and I'm running out so I need to get another one soon. For highlighters, I use the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the the color transcendence here it is it looks super super cute it feels like a sponge when you press on it it's so puffy like a cloud pinkish purple tone you can see so it's perfect for Easter today and then for lip liner I use the Kat Von D OG Lolita I love her lip liner line because it comes out easily and you don't need to sharpen it to shade in my lips I use the Kat Von D everlasting matte lipstick in the color melancholia here it is it's very nice and festive for easter and then on top of that just to give me more like a slight moisture because sometimes when you're wearing matte lipstick you could get like that flakiness and yuckiness so i added the charlotte tilbury kim k west on top just to have that moisture also to contour my nose i almost forgot i used the burberry contour stick i cream contoured first just to give me a head start so it looks like it gives you that illusion from underneath and then right on top i set it with the kevin O'Coin contour dual this color right here is called sculpting powder medium yeah i think that should be it i i don't know what else i use i was just busy talking so much that uh that's about it if you guys missed anything you can ask me and i'll answer it oh and then for eyeliner i use the liquid liner from shu amura so i think i think that is about it and then fix plus seal everything together is the mac prep and prime you know what i think i want to add sparkles onto my face because i want to be extra today today's easter so we want to brighten up the day and use some more glitter this is the diamond bomb how many carats glitter it's not a highlighter but you can use it just on top of your highlighter and it'll look super super cute so you guys see that that's just all glitter and i love 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 glitter i can just drench myself in glitter all day. I don't care for diamonds, 
And I don't care for like super expensive jewelries, but I do love rhinestones and glitter. You guys see how pretty that is? Super glittery. Loves. This should complete my look. I hope you guys like this video. Um, we will try to do more videos like this in the future. Um, I hope you guys got to know us a little bit more. Me and my husband here. Say goodbye. He's busy working. I've been like, I've been telling him, hey, sit down, talk to me. He's like, I have so much work. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> Once again, if you guys are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining us today. Toodles. And happy Easter.